Good afternoon, everybody. We're on day 28 of our Minute Bible Verses. Um, so today we're going to be in the book of John, chapter 11, verses 21 through 27. And it says, Lord, Martha said to Jesus, if you had been here, my brother would not have died. But I know that even now God will give you whatever you ask. Jesus said to her, your brother will rise again. Martha answered, <clears throat> I know he will rise again in the resurrection at the last day. Jesus said to her, I am the resurrection and the life. The one who believes in me will live even though they die. And whoever lives by believing in me will never die. Do you believe this? Yes, Lord, she replied. I believe that you are the Messiah, the Son of God, who is to come into this world. So, um, background on what's going on here is uh, Lazarus has died, which is Martha's brother. Um, he's been dead. By the time Jesus gets to him, he's been dead for four days. Um, so, long been dead. And what Martha is saying to Jesus when he meets her is she says, if you would have been here, he wouldn't have died. You would have been able to heal him. Um, you know, you could have saved him. Um, and Jesus says to her, your brother will rise again. And Martha replies by saying, yeah, he will rise again. Um, she says, I know he'll rise again in the resurrection at the last day, um, which she's referring to judgment day, um, when everybody's resurrected. Uh, and Jesus says, I am the resurrection and the life. The one who believes in me will live even though they die, and whoever lives by believing in me will never die. Do you believe this? So what Jesus is saying here is that Martha um, is, of course, referring to... She was she would have been Jewish, so refer, referring to the Torah here. Um, and she's saying she knows everybody will come back on Judgment Day and the Resurrection. Um, and she's like, I don't have to wait for that day. But Jesus says, no... I am the Messiah. I am the resurrection. Um, and anybody who believes in me will live even though you will die. Um, he's referring to eternal life. And whoever lives by believing in me will never die. Again, if you live through Jesus, you will never die. And then he asks her if she believes this, and she says yes. Um, and so continuing on after this, um, Jesus resurrects Lazarus. And uh, he lives. <clears throat> and it's one of probably the most incredible uh, miracles that we read about in the Bible uh, with Jesus. Um, especially since Lazarus wasn't newly dead, I guess. He had been dead, laid in his tomb for four days. Um, and I think that that is symbolism for what's to come for Jesus when he dies and is dead for three days in the tomb. Um and it's on the fourth day um, that Jesus raises Lazarus. Um, so I think that's kind of some symbolism of what's to come, um, showing kind of that prophecy that's going to be there with Jesus. Um, but anyway, really the lesson to pull out of these verses is um, basically comes back to if you believe in Jesus, you will not die after this life. Your body will die, of course but your soul will live eternally. And whoever lives by believing in him will never die. Um, believing in Christ will let your soul earn that eternal life. You won't be cast into the lake of fire. Um, you get to live side by side with Jesus for the rest of your life. Um, and Martha here, we know at the beginning, she didn't have any doubt in Jesus. She says, in verse 22, but I know that even now God will give you whatever you ask. She has full and complete faith in Jesus. That's why she called for him uh, to come there. Because she truly believed that he was the Messiah. Uh, and it pinned out for her in uh, bringing Lazarus back. She had faith. Um, she truly believed that Jesus was the Messiah. And uh, he rewarded her for that. So uh, that's kind of a lesson to uh, pick off today. Um, yeah, I don't have really much else to say. Have a good day.